Design team layout. Today we are going to play with some chroma glaze, and I have pulled out this beautiful brass color because oh, I lost it for a minute. I want to use this new September 2022 Brutus Monroe wood stencil, so I'm going to create some panels, and I've also pulled in the um, September 2022 Fall Florals stamp set to create a beautiful background here. So we gotta kind of come up with a plan. And I think we're gonna have to see if, does this match up? I feel like it might. So I'm just going to create an entire wood. Um, we're going to do it this way, and then we're going to take the stamp, and we're going to match it up and flip it this way, and then so on and so forth to create the panels. And I'm actually going to come in just a little bit, because um, we're going to trim it down and mat it on some darker cardstock. I want to make sure that I'm getting it stuck down. There's a lot of little parts in here that I want to make sure I don't mess up when I am maneuvering the material. Sorry, I was losing my train of thought and I really don't know why. All right, so let's move this out of the way and start working with this. So I'm going to let it dry in between each application just so that I don't smear it. So this is going to be a very beautiful color. Just want to go not so many swishes, right? You just kind of want to keep work. You don't want to work it too much, otherwise, you are going to have seepage. Well, I've made a mess already. Turn it just a bit because I want to make sure that I get this edge over here without making a mess. So we're just going to fill it in, pull off the excess, turn it again, and I will show you when it is dry. what it's going to look like on this first panel. And just these little areas, we just want to make sure that we're not working it too much, right? And sometimes you're going to get a little seepage, but mixed media is just that. Mixed media. So it is going to look a little messy and that's okay. I like the messy look. Unless you're going for neat, then the messy is not going to work, right? As you see, I'm not getting a lot to work with because I don't want have too much that I'm going to have to try to pull off the stencil. Okay. So now we're just going to pull this up. And we're going to hope I don't smear it 
in the process. Oh, come on. And there you go. So now we do have, because I missed, but remember, I'm going to trim it out. So this is going to dry. Now all I'm going to do is take the stencil and go this way with it and line everything up and so on and so forth to create one beautiful wood grain textured background. So we're going to let this dry and I'll be right back in a minute. So it's all dry. I made a boo-boo, but we're going to fix that. But now, so we're going to go over this area again because I totally messed that all up and I was not very, I wasn't happy with myself. But to show you. This is velveteen glaze now and we're going to run a little bit of it to create interest in our background. Now, and we're just going to keep lining it up. Well, okay. <laughs> Scary here, scary situation going on. I'm gonna line it up, and this is in pumpkin patch. It's a bit older. But the way it dries, because velveteen glaze dries very matte. I just wanted to add a little bit of contrast, a little bit of layers right over the top of the chroma glaze. Okay. When it dries, it's going to look dark and it's going to mute. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. I'm going to have to wash this off and do the other two so that they dry. And we are going to trim this down. Where I made the big mess, <clears throat> excuse me, it's where my photo is going to go, so you won't see that, but you're going to see all the fun texture of both the chroma glaze and the velveteen glaze. So I will, I'm going to put, I have to wash this off because the stencil has to be flipped. And that's not going to work. Uh, I'm going to do those two. We're going to let it dry, and I will come back, and we will finish the layout together. So I went ahead and took the stamp set and used some of the florals, and this is the fall floral stamp set, and I took some of the foliage and created three big, well, big, medium, small clusters just by stamping right on the chroma glaze and velveteen glaze mix. I really like the way this is turning out. That really looks like a tree. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull in a few of these fun little elements. Now, I wasn't quite concerned if my stamping was perfect because we are going to layer up these items right about like so over them, right? Um, just giving them a bit of a base to rest on. Going right on the photos as well. So we've got the little take a hike, because we did take a nice little hike through. This is through George Washington and, um, land, property land in Mount Vernon. And I want to get this guy on here, but what we're going to do is we're going to cut off a piece of it so that it looks like it's actually coming from it, if that made any sense. And I am adding extra adhesive because we are going over quite a few layers of mixed media. So just pop that right there. And I've got these three. I'm trying to figure out where I could kind of get those popped in. We are not really doing any layering. I'm kind of letting everything just kind of hang out and Take a picnic. It's really not lakeside because this is by the Potomac River. And if, and if you've ever have an option to go to Mount Vernon, um, we actually want to go back and and visit it again. We just didn't give ourselves enough time. 
but this was kind of like our epic summer road trip where we started at the beach and then just kind of went from there. So I'm trying to be careful because the ink is still a bit wet because of all of, of where I stamped. So now I just want to pop in uh -oh, a few of these fun little gems. Just put them right around. Little bitty areas like so. That's not going to work. That just came right up. I was kind of hoping that that would kind of go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, no. That is just, no. That's just, no. We're just going to throw that away. I apologize. It's very old and I didn't know if it was going to work or not. Alright, you guys, then that's going to do it. So don't forget to have fun playing with the mixed media stencils and the fall florals for the September 2022 um, inspiration box sets and releases. I've also got the Chroma Glaze in Brass and Velveteen Glaze in Pumpkin Patch. And that's going to do it, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to go check out Brutus Monroe and pick out some of these fun items and create your own background page. And I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye.